All right, so this guy's going to talk you through matrices. He's done it before. You've watched these videos before, so this is just a recap. Now, that's a three by two matrix. It's got three rows and two columns. Uh, we can draw up another matrix here called a column matrix. That's got three rows and one column. And we've got a row matrix here, one row, three columns. So we'll just pull out three by one and a one by three. Now, this matrix here, we're just looking at these elements. So if this is matrix D, the first element is D11, which is row one, column one. The second element is row one, column two, and so on. So here, we're just naming these elements. So element A, two, two is negative five. Element B, two, one, is row two, column one. C, three, one, three, that doesn't exist because there's not three rows in there. And A, one, three, again, one row down, three columns across, that doesn't exist either. So you just need to be really careful when you talk about these elements, work down the rows and then across the columns. All right, so now we're just adding and subtracting matrices. So same way that you can add numbers, you can add tables of numbers, which is what matrices are. So we have three matrices, A, B, and C. We're gonna add A and B. It's really simple. You're just adding corresponding elements in the matrices. So one plus one, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 2, and 4 plus 3, add them up. Now, if we're going to subtract matrices, A minus B, it's exactly the same. Just when you're subtracting things, if you've got negatives in your matrices, that's going to cause a bit of an issue because you might get like minus minus, but pretty straightforward. Now, A plus C, you can't do it uh, because those elements don't correspond the um, the matrices have a different order. That's really all I've got to say about that. Uh, now, if you want to add these matrices, you can do that here. Now, just to be clear, um, this is New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria, three sets of matrices. Uh, how much solar power, wind power and hydro power, how many units of it they're creating in January, February and March. And now if you add these three matrices together, you'd be finding out um, how many units of solar power New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria did combined in January, how much um, wind power New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria did combined in February. So this, I guess, is just an application of adding matrices. And we do this all the time when we want to combine tables. Okay, let's multiply matrices by a scalar. So we've got two matrices again. 2 times A, we just put 2 out the side of the A matrix and then we multiply all of the elements in the A matrix by 2. Now this one is exactly the same, there's just a negative there, not tricky, you guys all know how to multiply by a negative. And then uh, we still got to follow all, our, all, all of our rules for sort of subtraction, so we've got 2 bracket um, B minus A, so we subtract one matrix from the other and then we multiply that matrix by Two. Multiplying matrices by a scalar, not difficult at all. All right, so simple matrix equations, just the same way that you do like 5x equals 10, we can do the same thing. Oh, that's what I said, 5x equals 2. So um, we can do the same thing here. So we can't really divide a matrix, so we just multiply it by one fifth, which is the same thing. So one fifth times 50 is um, 10 negative three, seven, four, and there's our matrix. Now P plus that matrix equals that matrix. That's the same as doing like a one step equation, X plus two equals seven. So we just do one matrix minus the other matrix. We're just moving it across the equal sign, if you like. Now those are both one step equations. Here's a two step equation, two B minus a matrix equals another matrix. We just need to do the same thing that we would do if they were numbers. So we need to add that matrix to both sides. And then we need to multiply both sides by a half, which is the same as dividing by two, but we just don't divide matrices. We multiply them by fractions. All right, and that's solving simple matrix equations, one step, two step.